بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم one of the ways in which to have your sins forgiven by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and which is something very easy that we all can do and that we all do because if we pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we have to make wudu we have to purify ourselves by making wudu by purifying yourself with the intention to prepare yourself for prayer this is one of the means to have your sins forgiven. An Uthman ibn Affan radiallahu ta'ala anhu qal qal Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ban tawadda'a fa'asana wudu'a kharajat khatayahu min jizrihi hatta tukhruju min tahta al-dhafari ruahu muslim. Uthman ibn Affan radiallahu ta'ala anhu said that the message of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has said Whoever makes wudu and makes a perfect wudu, you know, getting the sunnahs of wudu, making, washing the limbs three times, those limbs that should be washed three times, and doing it as perfectly and completely as possible, then the sins will leave him from his body, even from under his fingernails. And this is collected in Muslim. Letting us know that the better we perfect our wudu, not only do we prepare ourselves for the prayer, but we get our we gain forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We have a ni'mah it's something all the believers can do. It's something easy that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has has given us out of his infinite grace, mercy, and favor. So strive your best to perfect perfect your wudu, to perfect your tahara. As the Prophet wasallam said, La yaqbalullahu salata ahidakum ida ahdatha hatta yatawadda'u. The Prophet ﷺ said, Allah does not accept the prayer of any one of you if he is broke, if he has hadith. Hadith meaning hadith al askar or hadith al akbar, meaning that you've either defecated a karamakum Allah or urinated or passed gas or what have you. That those are the hadith. Allah doesn't accept the prayer of the person who has the muhdath, the person who has done that, until they make a new wudu. And so, knowing that's a shurut, a condition for salat, and it also is a means for forgiveness. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us of our sins and bless us to perfect our wudu and accept all of our prayers and accept our fasting and accept all of our good deeds and forgive all of our evil deeds. And may Allah tabarak wa ta'ala bless us with ikhlas, with thabat ala sunnah to Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, wa sallallahu wa sallam ala Nabi and Muhammad.